kupata ni mjumbe wa Mogotio Ruben Kiborek. Thank you Mr. Speaker. First and foremost I want to congratulate the, the CS nominees who have been approved by this house. I also want to wish them well as they serve this nation. They are men and women of competence and we, we are sure and we are certain they will serve this nation with distinction. Mr. Speaker, I want to support the motion that the localization, Mr. Speaker, has caused more harm than good. It has caused more harm in the sense that many teachers have, many teachers have been forced to relocate at their old age to different parts of this country, Mr. Speaker, when they're already almost towards their retirement. They have been inconvenienced. They have, released, they have had uh, more challenges because at that age, they, some of them are sickling and want to, to, to serve near home. Mr. Speaker, also the young people of my age in, 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 in the career, Mr. Speaker, the young people who have just married, some have been married, and they are forced to walk far away from their spouses, Mr. Speaker. They get moral, moral, the moral fabric of the society, Mr. Speaker, has been break because a, a, a teacher is married to another teacher. The lady is delocalized to Mandera, and the gentleman is delocalized to Busia. Mr. Speaker, this, these are young people who should be working close because at that age, Mr. Speaker, they need to be close, Mr. Speaker, for the society to, to be morally upright. They, should, they must be close, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, they have really suffered because of such. Another thing, Mr. Speaker, is housing. Many people, Mr. Speaker, are delocalized to rural areas where there is no provision of housing. They get to a place where they don't have anywhere to sleep and the, the conditions are very are very not friendly to someone who comes from urban area or maybe comes from more advanced place of the society, Mr. Speaker. Unless the, the, the government put in order the places of, for accommodation for these people so that when they are delocalized, they have staff quarters where they can live a decent life as teachers, Mr. Speaker. But before that, Mr. Speaker, they should work in somewhere where they can be comfortable and can serve the country from their own comfort. Mr. Speaker, another factor is the localization has also been used as a tool to punish those teachers who are not who have issues with their employer, Mr. Speaker. These teachers end up being delocalized de because they have divorced or they have administrative differences with those in the in, with, with the employers, Mr. Speaker. They are deployed to areas where it's not conducive or it's not friendly to their to their kind of environment they have lived before, Mr. Speaker. Many people in my constituency, Mr. Speaker, have been delocalized to Mandera, Mr. Speaker. From my constituency to Mandera, Mr. Speaker, the cost of transport is more expensive than their salary, Mr. Speaker. We have to contribute to them, Mr. Speaker, to report to their jobs, Mr. Speaker, because it is too expensive to